If you're a new parent or soon to be one, you're in the right place. Here, we're diving into a comprehensive guide on the first three months with your newborn. From feeding and sleeping to diapering and bathing, we've got you covered with 10 essentials tips to help you navigate this exciting yet challenging time. If you find our content helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss our future videos. So let's get started. Feeding. In the first three months, your newborn will need to be fed every two to three hours. If you're breastfeeding, this means feeding on demand, which can be up to 12 times a day. It's a demanding schedule, but remember, you're providing essential nutrients that will help your baby grow and thrive. If you're formula feeding, your baby will likely eat every three to four hours. It's important to prepare the formula as directed and always ensure your bottles are clean and sterilized. Feeding time is also a wonderful opportunity for bonding. Skin to skin contact and the rhythm of your heartbeat can be incredibly soothing for your baby. So embrace those moments, they're precious and fleeting. Two, sleep. Now, if you're a new parent, you might be wondering when you'll sleep again. Newborns sleep a lot, typically up to 16 to 17 hours a day, but they sleep in short bursts of two to four hours at a time, which means your sleep schedule will be disrupted. A good tip is to try and sleep when your baby sleeps. It might be tempting to use this time to catch up on other tasks, but remember, rest is important for your health too. Creating a safe sleep environment for your baby is crucial. Always place your baby on their back to sleep and ensure their sleep area is free from items like pillows, blankets and toys. Remember, every baby is unique. Some might start sleeping at longer stretches earlier than others. So don't stress if your baby's sleep pattern doesn't match the norm. As always, if you have concerns, consult with a healthcare professional. 3. Diapering Let's move on to a topic that might not be so glamorous, but is certainly a big part of those first three months. In the early days, you'll probably be changing your baby's nappy about 10 times a day, if not more. It might seem like a lot, but frequent nappy changes are a good sign that your baby is getting enough to eat. When it comes to nappy changes, always make sure you have all your supplies within reach. A clean nappy, wipes, nappy cream. Remember, le never leave your baby unattended on the changing table. Always change your baby's nappy as soon as it's soiled. This helps prevent nappy rash, an uncomfortable condition that can result from prolonged contact with urine or stools. And here's a pro tip. Try to give your baby some nappy free time each day. This can help prevent nappy rash and also a great time for tummy time, which we'll talk about in another video. 4. Bathing Washing can seem a bit daunting at first, but with a little practice, it can become a wonderful bonding experience for you and your baby. Use a soft warm cloth to gently clean your baby, paying special attention to the creases and folds. Remember, newborns don't get very dirty, so they don't need daily baths. When bathing your baby, always check the water temperature of your elbow or wrist to make sure it's not too hot. Use a gentle baby soap and shampoo and always keep one hand on your baby for safety. Bathing can be soothing for babies. The warm water, gentle touch and your voice can make bath time very relaxing. It can also be a great part of a bedtime routine, signalling to your baby it's time to wind down and get ready for sleep. 5. Handling Let's move on to a topic that's incredibly important for all new parents, handling your newborn. Newborns are delicate and handling them can sometimes feel a bit intimidating. But don't worry, with a little practice and a few key tips, you'll feel more confident in no time. First and foremost, when picking up your baby, make sure to support the head and neck. Cradle the head when carrying your baby and support the head when carrying the baby upright or when you lay down your baby. Be careful not to shake your newborn, whether in play or frustration. Shaking can cause bleeding to the brain and death. If you need to wake your infant, don't do it by shaking. Instead, tickle your baby's feet or blow gently on their cheek. And finally, make sure your baby is securely fastened into the carrier, stroller or car seat. Limit any activity that could be too rough or bouncy. 6. Soothing In the early days, your baby might cry a lot, and that's perfectly normal. Crying is your baby's way of communicating, and it's your job to figure out what they're trying to tell you. Are they hungry? Tired? Do they need nappy change? Or maybe they just want some cuddles? One of the most effective ways to soothe a baby is to hold them. The sound of your heartbeat, the warmth of your body and the rhythm of your breathing can be incredibly comforting for the newborn. Many babies also like to be swaddled. 
Swaddling can make them feel secure when the world outside the womb is overwhelming. Just make sure not to swaddle too tight and always place the swaddle baby on their back. Another great soothing technique is to use white noise. The sound of a vacuum cleaner, a fan or a white noise machine can mimic the sounds of your baby heard in the womb and be very calming. 7. Doctor's Visits In the first three months, your baby will see their paediatrician several times for routine checkups and vaccinations. These visits are an important part of keeping your baby healthy. Your first few visits in the first few days will be after you leave hospital. Your doctor will check your baby's weight, length and head circumference and will also check for signs of jaundice, a common condition in newborns. Your doctor will also ask about feeding and bowel movements to make sure your baby's eating well and gaining weight. Don't hesitate to bring up any concerns you have. No question is too small when it comes to your baby's health. Vaccinations are also a key part of these visits. Vaccines protect your baby from serious diseases and are one of the best ways to keep your baby healthy. So 8. Bonding Next on our list is a topic is all about love and connection. Bonding time with your newborn. Bonding is the intense attachment that develops between parents and babies. It makes parents want to shower their baby with love and affection and to protect and care for their little one. Bonding isn't a one-time event but a process that happens over time. It's often ignited by everyday caregiving tasks like feeding, changing their nappies or bathing them. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is a powerful bonding tool. This can be done after a bath, during a massage or when you're just relaxing at home. Your baby will find your touch and heartbeat and warmth incredibly soothing. Talking, singing or reading to your baby is another wonderful way to bond. Your baby loves hearing your voice and these activities can also stimulate their developing senses. Remember, it's okay if you don't feel an intense bond straight away. Bonding can take time and it's different for everyone. The important thing is to spend time with your baby, respond to their needs and give them lots of love and affection. 9. Tummy time Let's now delve into a topic that's key for your newborn's development. Tummy time Tummy time is exactly what it sounds like, time that your baby spends on their tummy whilst awake and supervised. It's an important part of your baby's development and is recommended from the first week. Tummy time helps strengthen your baby's neck, shoulders and muscles and prepare them for crawling. It can also prevent the back of your baby's head from becoming flat. Start with a few minutes at a time, a few times a day and you can gradually increase this as your baby gets older and stronger. Remember, tummy time should always be supervised and it should only be done when your baby is awake. If your baby gets upset during tummy time, try to soothe them and try again later. You can make tummy time more enjoyable by getting down on your baby's level and interacting with them. Use toys, mirrors or even just your own face to engage with your baby. 10. Understanding cues Finally, let's discuss a topic that's key to understanding your newborn needs, understanding their cues. Newborns have a way of communicating their needs, and as parents it's your job to learn to understand these. For example, when your baby's hungry, they might start to root, which means they'll turn their head and open their mouth towards anything that strokes their cheek. They might also put their hands to their mouth or make sucking noises. When your baby is tired, they might rub their eyes, pull out their ears or become fussy. Some babies might just stare into space whilst others might cry. A wet or dirty nappy might also make a baby uncomfortable. Some babies might not mind a dirty nappy, whilst others might start to cry as soon as their nappy is soiled. Remember, every baby is unique and their cues might be subtle. It's all about spending time with your baby, paying attention and learning to understand their specific cues.